Welcome back to the channel. This is the third uh, video in the series of the eight horse mogul piston machining. So let's get going. Well, if you remember in the last two videos, uh, the first video we machined the head into the piston. The second video we machined the tail end. This video we're going to machine the OD or the outside diameter of this piston and um, our bore in the engine is six inches exactly and there needs to be a clearance on this piston so it'll fit and that is um, going to be nine thousandths under six inches and the reason for that is is to allow for expansion with heat um, on these uh, slow um, engines cast iron pistons um, the rule of thumb is uh, if the piston is under 8 inches in diameter, you use a uh, formula that is a thousandths and a half per inch of diameter. So that would be 6 inches diameter. So it would be 6 times uh, a thousandths and a half, which gives 9 thousandths, is what we want to turn this piston under. So um, we're going to be turning it to 5991. And... Um, that would be enough clearance for, for the engine. Um, if the piston was over 8 inches, uh, you might want to go a little bit bigger than that, probably two thousandths per inch. So like an 8 inch piston, you might be looking at a, a 16 thousandths um, undersized. So let's get to machining. Well, here we are, checked up and uh, dialed in. Um, this is... Uh, setup we're going to use today going to be making uh, about 50 thousandths passes trying to get through this uh, really hard crust that is on this casting it's pretty nasty stuff to machine through it um, just is just terrible to machine with because it's got uh, uh, porosity and then it's also an interrupted cut the carbide doesn't like that and it's also got sand in it so uh, we're just going to be making really heavy cuts here to get through this. I'm guessing it's going to take about four passes to get through that and get down to a continuous cut. So uh, we'll just start working here and uh, get to machining. One thing I will point out, I uh, cast this piston large, um, oversized, by about uh, half an inch to get plenty of material to work with. I'm going to end up taking about 200 thousandths off um, to get it down to just a continuous cut. So. Um, just always keep that in mind when you're doing castings. Let's listen in on this interrupted cut. cleaned up through that rind, um, probably one more pass uh, and we'll be down to good material and be able to start uh, honing in on our final dimension. Here we are with a quick look um, before the final pass for cleaning this casting up. Just going to roll the lathe over here real slow so you can see the finish. I'm really happy with the way this uh, finish is going to turn out and uh, there's just that little inclusion there on the right side that uh, we'll have to make just one more pass to clean up and then we can start going to dimension. here we are on the final pass that's uh, a 20 thousandths cut is going to be the final pass on this that'll bring us down to dimension um, this uh, process took a long time uh, a lot of measurement uh, a lot of check and recheck and uh, just took uh, quite a bit of time so uh, let's listen in on this uh, continuous cut <sighs> in on the chip type that uh, you get with gray cast it's just these large uh, pepper flakes uh, type 
chips, not, not like steel at all. So that's just what you're going to get out of gray cast iron when you machine it. Well, here we are with the uh, final uh, piston turned to dim dimension. Um, I did uh, hit the 5.991 inch dimension exactly. I'm really pleased with that and I'm also pleased with the finish on this casting. Um, it turned out really smooth. My feed rate was pretty slow. It took about 12 minutes per pass to do this uh, process. So it took quite a while to machine this piston down. Um, and it, it just the whole thing just took uh, quite a bit of attention and, and detail. I'd, I'd make a pass and then I'd measure it and um, I was trying to dial in. There's a slight taper on this lathe um, of a couple thousandths and I just wasn't able to adjust that out so I just compensated by uh, moving the carriage in a little bit across the work and practice doing that and measuring it with the uh, um, calipers or uh, uh, micrometer and uh, just got really good at that process so that uh, when when the time come to hit the dimension I was already practiced up on it. Also I only have uh, two ten thousandths of an inch variants uh, across this part. I'm really pleased with that. I doubt that this uh, uh, piston would have been any better coming out of the factory and it certainly doesn't need to be that uh, precise for what we're doing here but it's always nice to hit a dimension and uh, really do some tight machining there because uh, someday it will really matter. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching and uh, like and subscribe uh, if you like what we're doing here. Uh, next video we'll be cutting uh, the ring grooves on the piston. There will be five of those and that will be in the next video. Thanks again for watching and see you later.